If you are a golden oldie, then sometimes it's nice to look at another golden oldie. And that's exactly what we have here because it's one of Techno's classic line. As you can see, the packaging is high quality and we'll take a look at the collector card in a moment. And this is a model of a DAF 2800 sleeper cab with a reefer trailer. It's in the colours of the Dutch company M. Mui. The DAF 2800 was a tractor produced between 1973 and 1987. Out of the box we have the trailer, the tractor and there's a bag with a couple of small parts. One thing that's always nice for a serious collector is to have a collector certificate. And this one comes with a unique serial number in the run of 175 models. For the assembly there is the massive job of joining up the tractor and trailer. And just marvel at the skill with which the tractor is being reversed. And the kingpin of the trailer enters the fifth wheel. Clunk click does the trick. Starting underneath the DAF and Techno has produced a very detailed chassis. There is texturing of the oil sump and a realistic looking old exhaust system. The fuel tank and other parts are there as is a spare wheel. And the transmission components are nicely modelled with different tyres front and rear. The mud flaps are stiff plastic. Up on the cab roof there are air horns and two Michelin men figures. Also very nicely reproduced is the headboard and it has sharp graphics. This techno model comes with fitted mirrors and the other detailing includes a nice DAF grille. The old style circular headlamps are there and there's a realistic number plate. The windows look great with the seals around the edges and there's a highlighted door handle and sharp graphics. The steps are textured and the wheels are very nicely detailed. Looking at the back of the cab the shape has been very nicely reproduced. And as you can see, there are coiled lines. The stepping plate has got nice texturing and the fuel tank has got a nice filler cap. It's always good to see the exhaust pipe looks like it's got a hole and the split wheel arch and rear wheel detailing is excellent. At the back, the rear lights have plastic lenses and there's DAF on the mud flaps. The trailer body is metal and that gives it a nice weight. Looking underneath there's some nice detailing of the landing legs, tanks and various boxes. And the axles are modelled in metal. The tyres have a decent tread pattern. The landing legs look good with their old style rollers. And there are replica support timbers included. This is a refrigerated trailer known as a reefer. And the Fermo King refrigeration unit is very nicely modelled. There are colour coded connection points below it. The quality of the paintwork and graphics on the trailer is excellent. And the rear wheels are very nicely detailed, but they are not all fully grounded. At the back, the hinges and bolts are all fully detailed. And there are more nice sharp graphics. The overall look of the trailer is convincing. The rear axle of the DAF spins very freely and it's nice to say the steering has a really good range of movement. Here we are again on the Cranes Etc test track and the DAF shows itself to be a very willing runner. Not only that, but if you want to be driven around the bend, then the DAF is ready for you. The cab tilts forward and can pose in a tilted position. And if we go in so close that our nose hits the model, we can see the engine is very detailed. It looks plastic, but it is made up of a number of different parts. Moving on to the trailer and the wheels spin very easily. And it's nice to see that there is fully sprung suspension on every axle. If you want to pose the trailer on its own, a couple of replica timbers are supplied. And they've got notches in them for the rollers on the landing legs. The only issue on the trailer is that not all of the wheels are fully grounded, so you have to push down a bit on the suspension to get them to all roll. This is an interesting classic DAF truck from Techno. Undoubtedly the high point is the high level of detailing, and that goes very well with the very good level of finish. 
This is the kind of classic truck model which looks very good on display. It's well presented and overall it's easy to rate as very good.